Well, of course, the, the big uh, news is really the recovery from the pandemic. So the economy in the UK grew last year by, I think, 7.5%. Slight blip at the end of the year because of Omicron. But the trajectory is very positive. Uh, we're the sixth biggest economy in the world, I think, the second biggest European economy after Germany. Uh, there's a lot of pent-up demand. Uh, and we've got some really ambitious targets as well, particularly around uh, uh, net zero. Uh, so it feels quite dynamic to me. Well, clearly there have been some really big uh, short-term impacts, uh, and I think there's a huge focus on supply chains, uh, both these issues about uh, how long the chains are, uh, which is a question we all have on our mind, but also about keeping uh, you know, goods moving, which has been key during the crisis. And we're seeing at the moment this big thing around inflation, uh, which is partly the result of pent-up demand coming back on, uh, back on tap. So there's some really big short-term impacts. Longer term, I personally suspect that the uh, longer-term impacts of the crisis won't be that great. Uh, I think you can see already things getting back onto the trajectory they were before the crisis. Uh, well, I would say really well. I have to say that in my job, of course. But no, but I really believe it. I mean, we're, we're close neighbours. We've got this very long trading relationship. We're big investors in each other's uh, countries as well. Uh, I think there's a really good fit between our industries, both in terms of goods and manufacturing, but also services. So clearly, uh, after Brexit, there are new terms of trade. There are things to adjust to. There are important things that businesses have to get right. But I firmly believe there's a lot of opportunity looking in both directions. Yeah, well, the, the relationship, the economic and business relationship is very broad. I mean, we're both very sophisticated economies uh, with a lot to offer in different sectors. So I'd say it's very wide ranging, but let me just try and single out uh, a few sectors. I'd say one is life sciences. Both countries are very strong. Uh, again, I think we're complementary. I think that's an area where, again, there's lots of scope for growth, lots of scope for a really mutually beneficial relationship. Second area I'd single out, I think, is net zero and uh, decarbonisation of the economy. We've got really ambitious targets in the UK, and perhaps two areas there. One is offshore wind and also hydrogen, sustainable energy. We have big plans. Actually, Belgian business is already playing a big part in our offshore wind uh, sector. There's more to do there. And then all of these big questions about what use we can make of hydrogen and so on, I think that's really interesting. Uh, so that's the second area. And then the third area, uh, which is a real area of UK strength, I think is all of the sort of digital and IT sector, where if you're looking to come to market, if you're looking to raise capital, if you're looking for a place to expand your business, uh, coming out of Belgium, I think the UK is a really good place to look. Uh, I think my message is uh, you're really welcome. Uh, we're really pleased that Belgium's chosen the UK uh, as its uh, venue for first post-pandemic uh, economic mission. So the plans have been there for a while, but it's really great they're coming to fruition now. We really welcome it, as I say. We think there's huge mutual benefit in this. Trade isn't a zero-sum game. Uh, we both have a lot of business to do together, a lot of investments to make in each other's countries. So uh, really pleased you're coming. Please profit from the occasion.